Good morning, good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to this Shabbat morning service. We are bringing this to you, not from the Sanctuary of Temple Beth Israel, even though there's a picture of the sanctuary behind me. We're trying to use as much of modern technology as we have available. And I want to express my deepest, deepest thanks to everyone who made this possible using the simplest and most basic equipment. We don't have the sophisticated equipment that we really would like to have. We're in the process of talking about doing it. It would be very nice, for example, if last night everyone could have his or her own microphone. We tried to order some, they're not available. We're in the process of upgrading everything as we're going along. I appreciate the support that we have received. Thank you, it is encouraging. Every encouraging word helps every one of us go along because we're living through difficult times, difficult times in general, and it hasn't been all that easy and straightforward to do what we're doing right now. In the past, we'd all work into the sanctuary, we'd know what we were doing, we interrelated, we could see each other better, we could communicate with each other better. I, leading a service, could relate to the congregation sitting in front of me, the congregation could relate even more to me. So we are going to try our best and we're gonna to continue to try our best. I also want everyone to know that a lot of work is being done behind the scenes at Temple Beth Israel. I know Isaac has put in umpteen hours attending classes, seminars, webinars online, and so have I trying to figure out how other congregations are dealing with issues like this and the real experts, the real professionals, what they have to offer us in this situation. Now, for example, if we were in our sanctuary right now, a cat would not be running behind me and a dog would not be growling at the cat. But it, that's another story. You know what I mean. We are doing our best. We are are to the best of our ability on top of things. And I'm gonna let you know that this Tuesday, starting about noon, I think, and this is before our board meeting, I'm attending two online seminars for congregational rabbis dealing with issues like this. So thanks for your patience, but more important, I can't tell you how much I appreciate the words of support. Let us then begin our service with the singing of Hine Matov Umanayim. Hine Matov Umanayim, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Hine Matov Umanayim, Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. Hine Matov Umanayim. La 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 la. He name to Manaim. La 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 la. He name to Manaim. Shevadahad Yim Yahad. He name to Manaim. La 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 la. He name to Manaim. Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. He name to Manaim. Shevet Achim Gam Yachad. May the one whose spirit is with us in every righteous deed be with all who work for the good of humanity and bear the burdens of others, and who give bread to the hungry, and who clothe the naked, and take the friendless into their homes. May the work of their hands endure, and may the seed they sow bring abundant harvest. We continue with the singing of Matobu. Matobu, Matobu. Matohu o haleha Yaakov, Mishknotecha Yisrael, Mishknotecha Yisrael, 
خانه به راه خاستگا آب و به تهگا اش تا خوه اش تا خوه الگه خواه کچه خواه O Eternal One, our God, may the words of Torah be sweet in our mouths and the mouths of your people Israel, so that we, our descendants and the descendants of all your people Israel, may know you by studying your Torah for its own sake. Praise to you, Eternal One, who teaches Torah to your people, Israel. Baruch HaTarunai, HaMelamed Torah, Le'amo Yisrael. We continue with the singing of Elu Dvarim She'en Lahem Shi'ur. 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 The Elu devarim she en lahem shiur bi Elohim be haknasat orhim ube kor cholim be haknasat kala ube yat hamit ve eyun tefilah ve eyun tefilah. The Hava Ad Shalom, Ben Adam Mechaberu. Elu Devarim She En Lahem Shiur. Elu Devarim She En Lahem Shiur. Elu Devarim She En Lahem Shiur. Vi There are eight degrees in the giving of tzedakah, each one higher than the one before. To give grudgingly, reluctantly, or with regret. To give less than one should, but with grace. To give what one should, but only after being asked. To give before one is asked. To give without knowing who will receive it, although the recipient knows the identity of the giver. Mm -hmm. To give without making known one's identity. To give so that neither the giver nor the receiver knows the identity of the other. And to help another to become self-supporting by means of a gift, a loan, or by finding employment for the one in need. We continue with the singing of the Barfu. Barahu er Adonai Hamavora Baruch Adonai Hamavora Leolam Praise Adonai to whom praise is due forever. Praise be Adonai to whom praise is due now and forever. How deeply you have loved us, Adonai, our God, gracing us with surpassing compassion. On account of our forebears whose trust led you to teach them the laws of life, be gracious to us, teaching us as well. O merciful one, have mercy on us by making us able to understand and discern, to heed, learn, and teach, and lovingly to observe, perform, and fulfill all that is in your Torah. Vaha'er enenu b'toratecha, v'dabek libenu b'mitzvotecha, v'yached levavenu l'ahava u'l'yara et shmecha. V'lo nevosh, v'lo nikalem, v'lo nikashel le'olam v'en. Ki v'shem chod shecha, agadol v'hanora, v'tachnu. Nagila 
ואני שמחה בשורתך, וחביאנו לשלום מארבע כנפות הארץ, ותוריכנו קוממיות לארצנו, כי אל פועל ישועות עתה, ובנו פחדת, וקרבתנו לשמך הגדול, סלע באמת, להודות לך ולחטך באהבה, ברוך אתה אדוני, הבוחר בעמו ישראל, באהבה. We continue with the singing of the Shema. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Hashem, Kevod Malchuto, Le'olam Ba'ed. Hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Blessed is God's glorious majesty forever and ever. We continue with the Ahavta. Ve Ahavta ed Adonai Elohecha Bechol Abavecha Ubechol Nafshecha Ubechol Meodecha והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי בצבך היום על לבביך ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת אהבם ושבתך בביתך ובלכתך בדרך ובשוח בך וקומך, וקשרתם לאות על ידיך, והיו לתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך. למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי. ויהייתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אליכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוקים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם. And we now recall and sing the words that our ancestors sang as they passed through the sea and sang a song of thanksgiving to God, Mi Chamocha. Mi Chamocha bo'elem Adonai, Mi Chamocha ne'dar b'kodesh, nor a'tehilot, O se pele, no rote hilot, O se pele. Shira chadesha shibuchu geulim, le shimcha asifanayam, yachad kulam, hodu vechim lechu be'amavu. Adonayim loch, Adonayim <laughs> Adonai tzvaot shemo, kedosh Yisrael. Baruch ata Adonai, ga'al Yisrael. We continue now with the tefillah. Adonai sepatai tiftach, Upi yagi tehilateha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. 
Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Elohe avotenu ve'imotenu Elohe Abraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sa'ara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rachel Elohe Lehu Ha'il Hagado Hagibur Ve'hanoru El Elyon Gomel Chasadim Tovim Ve'kone Ha'kol Ve'zoher Chasdi Avot V'imarot U'mevigulah Levnei Vneihem Lema'an Shimu Be'ava Melech Ozer U'moshia U'magain Baruch Atah Adonai Magain Avraham Be'azrat Sarah, ata gibor le lamaronai, mechaye ha kolato, rav le hoshia, morid ha tal, mechal kel kayim bechesed, mechaye ha kol berachamim rabim, so mek no pilim berope kolim. Umatir asurim, umkayem emunato l'shene avar. Mihamocha ba'al gevurot, umidomelach, melek mebit, umkayem umat miak yeshua. Benemanata la hakoyot hakol Baruchata Adonai Magen Abraham Bezrat Sara At this point, I encourage all of you to sing along at the appropriate part so we can all feel at one point at least, and hopefully others we're singing together, let us continue with the sanctification, the Kedusha. Kadosh, 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 Adonai Tzavot, Melocho Haaretz, Kevodo, Adir Adirenu Adonai Adonenu, Ma'adir shemecha v'cho ha'aret Baruch evod Adonai memkomo Echadu Eloheinu Hu avinu hu malkinu Hu moshienu v'hu moshienu Hallelujah. La dorva do na ki god leha u netzak netzakhin kedushar ha naktish ve shivcha halohinu mi pinu lo yamosh 
לעולם הבאת. ברוך את אדוני האל הקדוש. Those who keep Shabbat by calling it a delight will rejoice in your realm. The people that hallow Shabbat will delight in your goodness. Will being pleased with the seventh day, you hallowed it. It's the most precious of days, drawing our attention to the work of creation. The people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. We continue with the singing of Kad Shainu. Hello, Hino de lo Heavo, Tenu vi imo Tenu, Gritsevi venu ha Tenu. Kadshenu b'mitzvoteha v'tein chelkenu b'toroteha sabinu mituviha v'samkenu b'shuateha v'tahir l'benu Le'ov d'cha be'emet V'hanehilinu Adonai Eloheinu V'avoh pratson Shabbat kodshecha Ve'anuchu ba'Yisrael Me'kod she'shomecha Baruch atah Adonai Me'kod esh ha'shabat Grant peace, goodness, and blessing grace, kindness, and mercy to us and to all your people, Israel. Bless us, our Creator, all of us together, through the light of your presence. Truly, through the light of your presence, Adonai, our God, you gave us a Torah of life, the love of kindness, justice, and blessing, mercy, life, and peace. May you see fit to bless your people, Israel, at all times and every hour with your peace. Praise to you, Adonai, who blesses your people Israel with peace. Baruch ata Adonai, amevarech et amo Yisrael, bashalom. A few moments of private silent prayer. Ose shalom bim romar, o ya ase shalom. Aleinu ve'al ko Yisrael, ve'imeru amin. As I mentioned last night, our list of people who are ill, fortunately, is getting shorter. A lot of people who are on the Misha Barak list in past weeks have told us they are feeling a lot better and want their names off the list. So we offer that prayer of thanksgiving, blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who has bestowed every goodness upon us. And may the one who has bestowed goodness upon us continue to bestow every goodness upon us forever. And for those who are ill, Mishaberach Avotenu Ve'imotenu, Avraham Yitzach Be'akov, Sarah Rivcha Rachel Ve'leah, Hu Yivarech Etzacholim, may the one who blessed our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, 
bless and heal those who are ill. And I want to mention in particular Ruth Pagursky, Merrill Goldman, Andrew Lerman, Eileen Egan, Joshua Harand, Katie Pastor, Trudy Caruso, Zachary Pastor, Douglas Baker, Sherry and Danny Bear, Rebecca Lutkoff. And we pause for a moment so all of us can say and say out loud other names for people who could use an extra prayer at this time. May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and spirit. And let us all say amen as we sing this Misha Berach together. Misha Berach May the source of strength, who blessed the ones before us, help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing, and let us say, Amen. Imotenu mekor habracha leavotenu. Bless those in need of healing with repuva shelema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say. Amen. I am going to share with you a small section from this week's Torah reading, which deals with the time period between Pesach, between Passover and Shavuot. Shavuot literally means weeks. It is the seven-week period between Passover and Shavuot that I'm talking about. I need also to mention in advance, mark on your calendars, that the last Friday of this month, uh, we will be having in the morning a Shavuot morning service and Easter service, which we will record and make available for you. And from the day on which you bring the sheaf offering, the day after the Sabbath, you shall count off seven weeks. They must be complete. You must count until the day after the seventh week, 50 days. Then you shall bring an offering of new grain to the Lord. You shall bring from your settlements two loaves of bread of an elevation offering. Each shall be made of two tenths of a measure of choice flour, baked after leavening as first fruits to the Lord. With the bread you shall present as burnt offering to the Lord, seven yearly lambs without blemish, one bull of the herd, and two rams, with their grain offerings and libations, a gift of pleasing odor to the Lord. You shall offer as well one he goat as a purification offering, and two yearling lambs as a sacrifice of well-being. The priest shall elevate these, the two lambs, together with the bread of first fruits, as an elevation offering before the Lord, they shall be holy to the Lord for the priest. On that same day, you shall hold a celebration. It shall be a sacred occasion for you. You shall not work at your occupations. This is a law for all time in your settlements throughout the ages. Even though we do not celebrate Shavuot this way anymore because the temple no longer exists, it is interesting to see the significance of this day. I'm going to put it in a different context in a moment, but let me also read the next section that follows. And when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap all the way to the edges of your field or gather the gleanings of your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and the stranger. I, the Lord, am your God. The contemporary message of that last section. There are people without work, without money, 
who are hungry here in our midst today. We need to do something about it. Now the counting off of the days between Passover and Shavuot, however much an ancient custom, an agriculturally based custom, was interpreted by the rabbis as counting off the days from the exodus from Egypt until the people reached Mount Sinai to receive the giving of the Torah. And as you anticipate something very important in your life, you're counting off the days, so this is a time of counting. You can buy Omer calendars, where you rip off a page for each day so you know where you are. Tonight, Saturday night, we would mention we are entering the 31st day. And this time period, historically, has been a time of semi-mourning in the Jewish calendar because of all the great rabbis who were murdered by the Romans centuries and centuries ago. One day, the 33rd day of the counting of the Omer, which this year is on Tuesday, nothing horrible happened. And it's for that reason why in the traditional Jewish world, you're not supposed to get married on these days of mourning, but if you want to get married on the 33rd day of the counting of the Omer, this Tuesday is a time that's permitted. Now, I told you I'm going to attend a couple of webinars and meetings mid-morning, and then we have a board meeting or an executive board meeting later in the afternoon. So if you want to get married, you better hurry up and make an appointment. I'm saying this with all humor and all seriousness as well, because there are people right now who planned to get married, have to change all the plans of their celebrations, but may want to be married anyway. And where is it possible, let's say from the point of view of civil law, to have a proper marriage? Can this be done by Zoom? apparently varies from state to state, an interesting new concept if there ever was one. We are facing challenges, I say this all the time, that we never thought of before. We at Temple Beth Israel at least have something of an easy time of it. It is not that we have all kinds of bar and bat mitzvahs and weddings scheduled for this time. So we offer our moral support to our fellow congregations who are facing bigger challenges than we are right now. When we are faced with challenges, we don't just accept them passively, we respond actively. The celebration of Shavuot in ancient times is one thing. How it has been celebrated through the ages since is a different story. The reform movement in Judaism added an extra something to Shavuot, and that is confirmation. Now again, we don't have a religious school. It's a different story in our congregation. But a time when the people accepted the Torah at Sinai, so now we feel these people are now old enough, even though they're still young by our standards, to understand the meaning of Torah and make it part of their lives. We develop and we change. So. Do join us on Friday the 29th in the morning. It will all be in the e-blast. We're going to record, put it on YouTube, and put it on Facebook. Continue, please, giving us your support. A lot of people have gone the extra mile. It looks like we're just sitting here and doing this. A lot goes into this. What we recorded for last night took place in three different locations. It isn't easy to blend everything together, especially if we don't have the most sophisticated equipment or the proper studio. And keep in mind also, there are many congregations who have been live streaming for years and have the experience, the equipment, and the technical staff to do all of this. I need to thank everyone once again. I can't thank them enough for all the extra effort and extra work that went into making this possible, how we did things and redid things and read up on things and experimented around. Thank you, 
thank you. And my deepest thanks, and I know whenever you thank people, you know you're going to leave people out. But I need to thank Corin for all the work she has done above and beyond what I ever imagined anyone could do. I need to thank Spencer, who is carrying a full load of courses from school virtually, which is a major adjustment in and of itself for all his technical ability. Uh, I would like to thank everyone involved with the music, which you heard last night, trying to do things in three different places without the proper microphones, which we'd have if we had them available. And by the way, uh, if there are things that are missing and you want to point them out to us in the letter, so to speak, and I know people don't write letters anymore, they send emails, but in the olden days, you'd point out, you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea if you did this, this, and the other. And in the letter would be a check. This costs money. And our congregation is suffering as every congregation is because we're not having our fundraising events, which we normally would have at this time. We need to have new and special equipment to make the high holidays as available as possible to everyone. And once again, I want to say, because we're not just sitting here doing nothing, we are exploring all possibilities to bring as much as we can to you through this modern medium. May we be inspired to continue developing. If this were a regular old-fashioned service in the synagogue, we would be taking a Sefer Torah out of the ark. We'll be opening it up, and we'd be reading from a book handwritten by a scribe on parchment, rolled, no page numbers, no punctuation, no vowels. If I want to jump from page 70 to page 253 in my printed book that's right in front of me, it takes two seconds. If you have to roll it, it takes a lot longer. The next stage was the codex, what we have now, with the pages sort of piled up on top of each other, folded and everything else I know, and then sewn together. It's easier to find your place. What an innovation that was. And then, not that long ago in terms of human history, the invention of printing, where, for example, we can all have copies of the book in front of us if we want. And to buy a copy of the book, and I know you may think books are expensive, but relatively speaking, it's a lot cheaper than hiring a scribe to write the whole thing out for you. And now we can get things online. All these changes that are taking place in front of us, we Jews are extremely traditional and conservative. Our formal scriptural readings in the synagogue are from a handwritten scroll. We're still struggling with the invention of printing. But on the other hand, right now, we, Temple Beth Israel, and many, many other congregations are getting together to use Zoom. And I'm having a special meeting with congregational rabbis in the late morning on Tuesday to compare notes, to share sources and resources, and to try to make the high holidays in particular, but all our services in general, as meaningful for all of us. I thank you very much for listening and for being here. I want to share one semi-humorous thing with you that I mentioned in our cocktail hour last night. You know, there was a lot of debate in the congregation as to what time to have the Friday night service because it was too early for some people's dinner plans and too late for others. You can now tune in at a time that's convenient for you, before dinner, after dinner, even during dinner. I don't know if it's a good idea, but still. We have those new freedoms. Let us enjoy what we have. Let us celebrate what we are doing. Before we part, we need to remember those members of the congregational family who are no longer with us. We, with great sadness, mention those who died as a result of the COVID-19. We mention with great sadness 
all those who died in recent days and weeks. Let me mention in particular Douglas Gross, Ruth Perlman, Morton Skirbo, Earl Gordon, Claudine Siegel, and friends of mine, Rabbi Ken Roseman, Isaiah Cooperstein, Seymour Salerson. We mention also members of the congregational family and our friends whose yard sites occur at this time. James Gardner, William Mishkin, Pearl Anstrike, Mary Bardos, Susan Blenderman, Martin Chisling, Ann Emmerman, Dr. Harold S. Feldman, Mary Field, Charles Fishman, Morris Gerber, Julius Clanfer, Faye Kolber, Dr. Bernard Levine, David Lutkoff, Howard Maybloom, Dr. Matthew Podolin, Mark Radlow, Sadie Ringler, Dorothy Rosenzweig, Lucille Rosen, Anita Stein, Ray Walicki, Lena Wallowitz. And again, we give ourselves a couple of extra moments to mention other names, say them out loud, whose yard sets occur at this time and who have recently departed. Our thoughts turn to those who have departed this earth, our own loved ones, those whom our friends and neighbors have lost, the martyrs of our people whose graves are unmarked, and those of every race and nation whose lives have been a blessing to humanity. As we remember them, we meditate on the meaning of love and loss, of life and of death. The Kaddish. Yit Kadal Vit Kadash Shame Raba. The Alma di Vrachu Tevi Amlich Mahute, the Hayechon of Yomechon of Hayega O Beit Israel, Bagala Ubisman Karif Imru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mevarach Lamol Ame Almaya, Yit Barach, Vishabach, Vit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase, Vit a Darby to Levi to Lao, Shme to Kutcha, Rehu. La Onmehome Hatau. May the source of peace grant peace unto those who mourn and comfort the bereaved among us. And let us all say Amen. And may the memory of those whom we have lost stay on, remain alive in our thoughts, in our deeds, and may their memory be a blessing for all of us. Tune in again on Tuesday for the Tuesday morning class, Friday evening and Saturday morning. And let us now conclude with the singing of Ain Kelohain. Ain Kelohainu, Ain Karoneinu, Ain Kamalkeinu, Ain Kamoshienu, Mi Kelohainu, Mi Kadoneinu, Mi Kamalkeinu, Mi Kamoshienu. No de lelohenu, no de laronenu, no de le malkinu, no de la moshienu. Baruch elohenu, baruch adonenu, baruch makenu, baruch moshienu. Atahu elohenu, atahu adonenu, Atahu Malkinu, Atahu Moshi Enu. May we be given the strength to get through these difficult days. Yivarechacha Adonai v'yishmerecha, Ya'er Adonai p'ana v'yelecha v'chunecha, Yisa Adonai p'ana v'yelecha v'yasem lecha shalom. May God bless you and protect you 
May God's light shine upon you and may God be gracious to you. May you feel God's presence within you always and may you find peace. Good Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom.